Steve, I wanted to ask you, there's been a lot of talk about driver training. There's been some high profile cases in Ontario lately with new or improperly trained truckers. Could you comment on this? Yeah, this is something that um, it's a real concern in the industry as people are taking shortcuts. And we just we at Fluke don't do that. We have a mentor program where we anyone we hire goes out with a mentor for a while until they show that they are capable. And this is a this is concern as people are trying to cut corners in a lot of places. There's another thing called Drivers Inc. That is starting up where they're trying to be independent business people, but not pay WSIB and all that kind of stuff. So it's a tax evasion uh, thing that that they're doing it's called Drivers Inc. And that's another thing that's very concerning. And it gets into this thing, too, where the safety aspect, right? Like not only do you have to mentor them uh, from a safety angle behind the wheel, it's almost like you have to mentor some of these owner operators as they run their business. As they run, you know, their trucks, they own their own trucks and they run it. But the Drivers Inc. model is something that's very concerning and it's a tax evasion measure. And it's not, it creates a non level playing field. You know, we're paying all our taxes when the next guy isn't, they can cut corners, not only from a safety aspect, but a financial one as well. Well, that's an interesting concept. And we're going to have to get you back to talk about that more in the future. But let's shift and talk about. The various taxes you mentioned that in the first section um, we now have a clean fuel standards and there's rising carbon tax what does that mean for your business uh, going you forward know, yeah it's very difficult the last few years and the part about this that really peeves me off is the fact that it's increasing ever so much so when it started it came in now first of all when you and i go and fill up our cars we put gas and i know your viewership is Canada wide, but I'm going to talk about where I am here in Ontario. It, gas is about $1.57 a liter for most of us right now. The one thing about the trucking industry is we use diesel fuel. So I want to tell all your viewers next time they go, there's always that diesel price underneath the regular gas price. Right now, it's about $2.38 a liter. So while we think it's extraordinary putting gas in our personal vehicle, vehicles at 157, we're paying in our trucks 238 a liter. And the carbon tax started out to be about four or five cents a liter. Ironically, we just sent out a check today, this morning to the government for $80,000 for a quarter, uh, quarter of a year of carbon tax, 80 wow. grand. And now we're up to about 13.4 cents a liter of diesel fuel, and it's going to go up to 15 or 16 cents. So it's just, it's too much. And unfortunately, that cost has to be passed on to our users. Yeah, and it, it, it um, impacts almost everything you buy from your groceries to anything that you're buying. They need to be transported and the cost goes on, on and on. So mm. the cost of fuel is insane for everywhere but uh, nowhere more than the transportation industry. So um, you've kind of given us an outline of how much you pay annually, which is just absolutely staggering. Mm -hmm. So what can be done about this um, in terms of pushing back on some of these policies? Yeah, because I, I'd like to push back on this because the one thing about it, Josh, is it started from zero. This tax is a new tax. We weren't paying this before. And then they, they sneak it in three or four cents. And now it's growing to something that's way too significant. And really, it's having to be paid by the end user. So I think it's all of us that have to push back because I question it. Where does this money go? Like the, the money we're sending in, it's extraordinary. And, and where is it going? How are we seeing it used by our government? So I think we do have to push back, not only as business, but as citizens as well, because we're all getting hit hurt when we go to the gas station. Anything we buy, we're getting hurt by this because it, like you said, it's a flow through. If we're buying uh, anything at the grocery store now, it's gone up. Why? Because of this carbon tax that has to be passed on to our customers who in turn pass it on to us as citizens.